Dave here with Half Dozen Customs. Um, out here again tonight on the 49. Uh, yesterday I did the video of replacing the, the door catch on the inside there. Um, so I, I didn't video putting the door back on or whatnot because the missus comes out here and she helps me do, uh, you know, hang the door and she doesn't want to be on video yet. So, um, and then she helped me hold this piece down and, and start to get the fold overs, um, started, uh, so we could still slip it on, um, and be able to, to close the door somewhat. I can't close it all the way yet. One second, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. There was a there was a missus on the walkie-talkie. The dogs are waiting for me to come in. So, um, but we got these we got these edges folded over so that I can slip this up, um, slip it up on, um, so that I can check the the gap. So, um, it, it looks really good. That it can go up a little bit. I think uh, tomorrow I'm gonna. I'm going to take the door back off and I'm going to cut um, like an eighth of an inch off of the bottom of the new skin that I put on the inside, uh, the inside piece of the door. Um, just so uh, I can I can scoot this skin up just a little bit higher if I need to. Um, I think once I get this hammered and pinched flat, um, you know, it, it may change a little bit. The, the center of the gap, uh, the center here of, of the door, I'm, I'm super happy with the gap. It matches everything else all the way around, super happy with it. It's a little tight at the front and it's a little tight at the back. Um, so once I start getting it pinched a little more shut, um, you know, if I need to come up with it, I can. Uh, I think I, I, I'm going to sleep on it, but I'm thinking I may, um, I may, yeah, I don't know. See, that's why I'm going to sleep on it. Um, you know, I'm happy with the gap down here, not so much on either side, but I have no issue with doing at each corner here, what I did to the corners up here where I grind through it a little bit and I and I weld it back up. And if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. I have I have no problem doing that. So I may tap this up to where it's completely tied up against my cut and get it tacked in place and then start hammering it flat tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I guess my biggest concern is that it closes this gap up in the middle. I really, I, I really don't want to have to grind all the way across the bottom of the door and weld up the whole bottom of the door. I don't want to do that. Um, so, but it, uh, it's on, it, it looks good. You know, I, I'm happy with the, the first test fit of the door skin. I'm happy with it. We're super close. So, um, so yeah, tomorrow's another day. Sorry, I didn't film much tonight with what was going on, but the missus was helping me. So, um, you know, tomorrow's another day, tomorrow's Saturday. So we'll get, uh, you know, I'll get some time put in tomorrow. Um, I would really like to have this door skin on and, and welded in solid tomorrow. Um, but we'll see, you know, tomorrow's Saturday, it's our day to do our running around. We got to go get water and groceries and, and stuff like that. So, um, but hopefully tomorrow I can get this door buttoned up, um, get everything so that it's fitting nice and good. And once that's done, it's on to the fender. So we'll see how tomorrow goes, but. As of right now, I'm happy with the way things are looking. Um, like I said, I, I may just take the door off, trim a, an eighth of an inch off the bottom of the door itself so that I have some adjustment, and then slip the door skin back on, tack it at each corner so that it can't move, and then start hammering 
hammering it all flat so but that's it for me guys it's 11 o'clock at night so I'm out oh.